up? I'm your host, Lauren Leal, and we have a great show for you tonight. As always, we'll start with an organization that has turned Houston into a desired destination for major sporting events. Thanks so much, Neil. That's right. Out here outside the gates at Minute Maid Park for game one of the World Series, Atlanta Braves versus the Houston Astros. You talk about identity of the Chicago Bears, but what about the Houston Texans? Right now in the rebuilding stage, what are we looking to see from them on that front? Well, that's the whole question. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of getting drafted in 07 to the Texans, you were the youngest player to ever be drafted in the first round at age 19. Were any of those thoughts going through your mind when you were entering draft day? Oh, um, yeah. He told me, you really got to believe in yourselves because this is a young group of guys. How are you able to really light the fire, come out, and just have such a strong first half and only giving up a couple in the second? I think if you get to know our coach, he's a motivator. Welcome into No Wait Weather and Traffic here on CW39 Houston. I'm Lauren Leal. Let's get you out on those main lanes. We're taking a live look here at 610 West Loop to the South Loop off of 225. That is about 13 minutes. Now you're taking a live look at the White House. We're CW39 Houston, No Wait Weather and Traffic. I got a chance to speak with Coach prior to kickoff in which he told me this team is excited to be out here today. Maybe one of the best. 16 national teams we've seen in the 11 years here at the International Bowl. UFC heavyweight Derek Lewis is in the house. And Derek, you said this is your first rugby match to watch. How are you enjoying it so far in your honorary captain duties? Oh, um, actually, this is one of the best games I've ever been to. Short stop Carlos Correa is also getting it done. I caught up with him Saturday morning at the Dynamic Sports Training Complex where he put down the bat and picked up a ping pong for charity. You just won the World Series. You play baseball, but this morning's a little different story. You're playing ping pong. How's it going? It's going great. I play my first game. I won, of course. Kyle Tucker has been on a tear. Sixth home run, sixth triple of the season, 29 RBIs. I mean, he is doing amazing things. Uh, what's really been the difference in his swing this year and overall performance from last season to, to now? But there is so much more to read than being a ball hawk in the secondary. The man can cook. Yes, we will dive into that and so much more. Come in depth with me and Justin Reed. You actually said you played baseball growing up and you wish it was your favorite sport? Yeah, I wish that was a sport that I was good at. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Frosheen Bar and Grill for a very special and unique event, Cocktails for a Cause. This is where Houston Texans players roll their sleeves and turn into bartenders for the night. Houston sports stars are not only idols on the field or in the stadium. They hold the power to do good works in the community. Houston Texan Whitney Merciless carries a big heart and decided to start his With Mercy Foundation in 2016. I just thought, um, hey, let's put on some type of deal where let's give some clothes, supplies, backpacks, free hairdos, haircuts, uh, physicals, things that were going to be uh, something that these families can afford. Each year he focuses on different needs for children and this year he is dedicating his time to raise money for everything a child needs to excel in the classroom. Within the last few years we serviced about 800 kids. This year we're looking to service about a thousand. So it's, it's been amazing. Teamwork makes the dream work, so when one of the Texans throws an event, you better believe the rest of the team will be there too. Even former teammates like Chester Pitts join the party in support of the With Mercy Foundation. My guy Whit, I mean, he has the biggest heart you ever could imagine. So when I get the phone calls to come out and support, there's no way that you can't count on me. I will be here. This event is called Cocktails for a Cause for a reason. So I had to put the Texans bartending skills to the test, and linebacker Brian Peters was there to assist. Should be more in there, but... Not bad, pretty good. Thank you. All in all, I think Whitney, the players, and all the attendees had a great time raising money at Cocktails for a Cause for the With Mercy Foundation. I'm Lauren Leal, reporting for NTV Houston. Until next time, this has been Lauren's Liftoff.